Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to bring you is a Mansfield Town versus Bradford City vlog reaction thing you know what it's called by now just before we get into today's video though if you could drop a like on it let's try and go for 60 likes on today's video that would be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well make sure you turn the bell on we're on the road to 4200 subscribers you need to turn the bell on so you never miss a video of when I do upload onto this channel. My score prediction for this game, I'm going to go with a 1-1. Not really confident going into it. Team news is in about half an hour or so. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And we obviously know Gareth Evans, he's going to be out for a couple of weeks. And obviously, um, he said, uh, Stuart McCall said there's a, there's a couple of other players who are doubters, which you know you really don't like to see that sort of stuff. So it'll be interesting to see what sort of team we go with, what sort of system. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, it's about half one now, just after. So we'll have to see at two o'clock what the team news is but yeah I think my score prediction for this game then I'm gonna go with a 1-1 I think for Mansfield Andy Cook's probably gonna score I know I said Benning in a match preview but I think Andy Cook's gonna score he seems to be highly rated by Mansfield fans and then for Bradford I think Novak why not I'll say Novak to get the goal that's my score prediction if I've remembered should be some score predictions on screen right now but yeah make sure you leave a like subscribe and let's see what the team news is gonna be like Right then, it is now 2 o'clock, team news is out, it's a very very interesting one. It looks like we are going to be going with a 4-4-2, we've got O'Donnell in that, Hosanna at right back, two centre backs being Anthony O'Connor and Richard Zeva, and it says up here that Reece Staunton could potentially be one of those that are injured, which you really do hate to see that. We've got Connor Wood in left back, we've got Dylan Mott Henry starting out on the right mid, obviously Ishmael still injured, uh, Watt, and El uh, Watt and Cook are in the midfield, with Pritchard on the left, Donaldson and Novak up front, and then on the bench we've got Hornby, Longridge, Guthrie, Clark, Samuels, French and Cousin Dawson, so it's a very like, if you either got a centre back or you've got a strike on the bench, there's no, no, no midfielders on the bench at all, I know Clark can play in a 10, but definitely can't play in a 4-4-2, it's an interesting team, it doesn't fill me with confidence, I've seen Mansfield's team, they're not happy with the fact Andy Cook's on the bench, I think they're playing Bowery, but not happy with that at all, but yeah, that's the team, hopefully we can still get the win, but I can't really see it to be honest with you. So I'm just looking through Twitter and a lot of people are saying that they've never had issues with iFollow before but they're all um, all struggling at the moment, it just keeps buffering. So that doesn't look great but we'll, we'll still buy anyway. So as you can see here, it's 3 o'clock and this is all we're looking at. People were not lying when they said that all oh, iFollow is... Surely we should get some form of refund for this considering not even, we're not even going to be able to watch the game. We're playing in the grey kit today, the third kit. We're underway. Hopefully we can get the win. How has he not scored? How has he not scored? That's a great chance for Dylan Motley Henry and somehow he's not scored. He got him round the back. It's a great first touch and he just hammered it into the side net and he's panicked and he just blasted it. How has he not scored? Oh my god. Oh my god. O'Donnell slipped on his kick. Jesus Christ. O'Donnell, we know he's not great with his distribution. He's passed it straight to number nine. He's hammered it, but it's gone straight over Donald. He's managed to save it, but Jesus Christ. What on earth was that? Corner ball then for Bradford. I mean, in swinger, Connor would to take it on the far side. One arm goes up. Good ball in. Onto the keeper. He's in! Yes! Connor would scored directly from a corner. It's an awful mistake from the Mansfield goalkeeper. And it's in the back of the net. I thought it was a it was a good ball in, but no one was challenging for it. The goalkeeper's dropped it, and he's dropped it in the back of his net. We're eight minutes in here. We're one nil up. Absolute howler for the Mansfield goalkeeper. Quite a simple take, wasn't it? There was no one around him, and it's in the back of the net. We take an early lead here, probably against the runner play. To be fair, Pritchard's in. Pritchard, please, please. What are you doing? He's just fallen over. Oh my god, how? He didn't even get a shot off. It was great play by Osana. And I don't understand how Pritchard's not... He didn't even take a shot, he literally just fell to ground. That is... Oh, that's really poor. Donaldson plays it into Pritchard, he's lead it off! Connor Wood! Yes, it's 2-0! That's his goal this time. Whether the first one is given to him or not, that doesn't matter. Connor Wood scored again, assisted by Pritchard. We're 15 minutes in here. We've scored two goals in a game inside the first 15 minutes. What a start. What a start. We can't be thinking, though, that the game is won now. Donaldson with a great ball into Pritchard. It's a great flick on. Wood has all the time in the world. 
He's put it under the goalkeeper. Mansfield goalkeeper has been very, very poor. And we are 2 0. We are winning away from home by two goals. Is this it? It's been over a year since our last league away win. We're now 2 0 up. One more, and I, I, I don't see Mansfield scoring two goals. I don't think they've got it in them. We are playing some unbelievable football at times here. You know, we have got still got that little bit of a hoofball in us, but some of the football, the movement we're playing here, it's, you know, even from players that you wouldn't expect to, like the passing display we had last week. Mansfield put a ball in here and defended. The passing that we had put on display against Harrogate were god awful this week. We're playing like prime Barcelona again. Great tackle, Connor Wood. Great touch by Clayton Donaldson. Callum Cook, he's fouled there. Up against number four, plays onto the edge of the box. Pritchard, how has he not scored? Oh my God, how have we not scored there? Mansfield defended really well. I don't know how we've not scored. I don't know how we've not made it three. Corner ball, Elliot Watt to take it. We've gone short to Wood. Gone back to Elliot Watt. Ball in. On the keeper, he's punched it. He's come to Novak. Hooked it back in. Oh, and it's over the bar. And that'll be half time. 2 0. Brilliant half so far. I think everyone's having a decent game. Donaldson and Pritchard, I thought, had a pretty poor game start, but they've gone into the game as it's gone along. After the first like 20 minutes, we kind of slowed it down. We slowed it, took us foot off the gas a little bit and allowed Mansfield to come back on us. Last five or ten minutes, though, we put the foot back on. Um, you know, we've got to come out in the second half. We know Mansfield, they're going to come at us. Um, they're going to try to put balls into the box. We've got to defend it. But first 45 minutes. I can't really fault it. At half time, Mansfield have made all three of their changes in an attempt to get back into this game as the second half kicks off there. But it's a big, big move from the Mansfield manager to make all three substitutions now. We'll have to see if it pays off. Go on, Pritchard. He's laid it off to Cook. Shot. Oh, what a save by the goalkeeper. Number nine's got the ball here. Goes out wide on this left hand side. Benning. Got Perch on the overlap. Ball in from Benning. Free header. Great save by O'Donnell, free ender there for Andy Cook. I have no idea what that marking was. BRE lost his man there. McCall is furious with him, but it's a great save by O'Donnell. And they'll just have to try and whether this storm will. Cornerball here for Mansfield. It's going to be number 20 to take it on the far side. In swinger. Good ball into the back post. Headed away by Anthony O'Connor. And Pritchard will stop it from going out for another corner. Novak's got it on the left hand side. Up against number two, he cuts back on his right, lays it off to Cook. Goes that wide here to Hosanna. Takes a shot on, it's deflected. Oh, just oh. wide. Oh, he should have hit that first time. He hits that first time, it's in the back of the net. Novak has the ball in the far corner. He's holding off his man. He's done very well there, is Novak. He's played it to Connor Wood, who's got all the time in the world here. He put it in the box, Donaldson, yeah! That's game over now, it's 3-0. Donaldson's gone on the score sheet, 68 minutes gone, and Donaldson's made it 3-0. You absolutely love to see it. Oh, let's go. Donaldson with a great finish. It's great play by Novak in the corner. A great back heel from him. No one's marking Connor Wood. I don't know what Mansfield are doing. Takes a touch, ball in the box, flicked on by Donaldson over the goalkeeper. It's in the back of the net. We're winning 3-0. We're finally going to get our first league away win in over a year. Oh, that's that's the relief gone. But is that the right word? I don't even know. But we're winning 3-0. Go on, Molly Henry. Ball in. Oh, to no one though. Oh dear. That is unreal play. Oh my oh. God, Pritchard with a poor final ball once again, but it's unreal play from Watt and Wood between them all once again. Elliot Watt has been absolutely incredible once again. He, what a signing he has been. There has been 21 fouls in this game, 10 by Mansfield, 11 by Bradford. We've got another free kick here. It's going to be Watt or Wood to take it. It's going to be Elliot Watt to the back post, headed away by number four. He's been decent for Mansfield. He's been a decent centre half for Mansfield. So as a uh, number two, he's played very, very well. Everyone else for Mansfield. Yeah, not the greatest. Andy Cook and George Lapsy have been all right, but everyone else has been pretty poor. Tyler French is going to come on the pitch now for Dylan Motley Henry. I think we might be changing the system. <laughs> Go to the five at the back. Put Tyler French as a centre half. Hosanna as the right wing back. Motley, Motley Henry's played unreal in this game. Played really, really good, especially in the first half as well. Second half, he kind of died out a little bit, but he's still been decent. 
It appears that it's going to be Hosanna who's going to the centre back role and Tyler French playing as the right wing back. Hosanna, obviously, we know he can play as a, a centre back in a back three. Andy Cook with a shot. Woo! Red card. Red card. Lapsley's just taken down Donaldson for no reason. And George Lapsley's been sent off. Free kick here then. Elliot Watt. Good ball in. Headed away. It's come to Pritchard at the back post. Put in the box, Donaldson! Just over the bar, 10 minutes to go, 3 0 up. They're down at 10 men. If we somehow bottle this, I'm out the window. Corner ball from Mansfield, it's going to be O'Keefe to take it. Just over 5 minutes remaining here. Ball comes in. Andy Cook heads it into the back of the net. Mansfield have got to go back. I'm not sure he's meant to be marking him there. Andy Cook, he's been an aerial threat since he's come on. He's in the back of the net. It's a great header. He's being marked by Donaldson. Donaldson's let him get the header away and it's in the back of the net and Mansfield get a goal back. Let's hope it's nothing more than a consolation. Second substitution of the game then, just under five minutes remaining now. Austin Samuels is coming on for Clayton Donaldson. He obviously, you know, he's got his goal today. He's played really well, especially in the second half. He's been much, much better. Jackson Longridge is now coming on the pitch. He's coming on for Harry Pritchard. Three minutes added time at the end of the game here. Can't see anything but a Bradford win. Ball's bouncing around on the edge of our penalty area. Andy Cook's got the ball. Good tackle by Anthony O'Connor. Ball goes out of play. It's going to be a throw in for Mansfield then. O'Keefe into number seven. Great tackle by Jackson Longridge and that is full time. We get our first league away victory since October the 12th, 2019. Finally, another three points on the board. Finally, a away win in the league. Brilliant, brilliant reaction from Tuesday night's game. Oh, sorry, Monday night's game against Harrogate. But it's a complete opposite performance. Brilliant right. game. That is where I'm going to leave today's video, though. If you have enjoyed, if you could drop a like on it, 60 likes would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. I'm buzzing with the fact we've got our first away win in 370 days, I believe it is. It's absolutely crazy that it's taken this long, but we've finally done it. Great bounce back from Monday night's performance. I'll see you all guys in the next video. Peace.